Hello, welcome to Literary Life. So I feel like I haven't been here forever talking to you all. It's been two weeks of crazy work schedule, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you have experienced that at times as well. So I'm glad to finally be doing what I love outside of work, because I do love my job, but <laughs> getting to read and talk about books. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my reading plan for this week. Um, there's some really good ones on the stack when I looked at it, so I'm really excited about that. Um, the first book I am going to read is uh, called The Breaking of a Wave by Fabio Genovesi. I'm probably mispronouncing that. So this is an Italian author, and this book is set on the coastal town of Italy. Our main character is an albino teenage girl. So this book is going to confront some of the nuances of her experience. Um, it's going to cover, the term is oddballs, of several types um, and how they seek comfort and love from those around them. But our main character is uh, essentially very close to her brother, that a teen her teenage brother that she, um, I don't know if she cared for at some point, but he goes off on a trip and unfortunately he passes away. So from what I read, this book is also going to deal with the grief and her and the towns and the fam her family's attempt to cope with grief and loss um, and her encountering several other oddballs like herself. Um, and from what I've read, this book uh, really kind of jumps from comedy to tragedy. It just sounds like the perfect book for me. I'm really excited. And I will, of course, have links below if you're interested in purchasing any of these books um, to Amazon or bookshop.org. So the next bo box, <laughs> the next book I'm going to read is The Phone Box at the Edge of the World. So this is another book um, dealing with grief, but it has a little bit more of a fantasy lens to it because we have a phone booth or phone box um, that a gentleman has in his garden that reputably um, people can use to speak to the dead, their loved ones. Our main character has lost her mother, so she decides to pilgrimage out to this man's home um, but once there, finds that she cannot actually pick up the receiver um, to make that call, make that connection. Um, while there, she is going to meet another character, a man who is um, grieving the loss of his wife. Uh, his daughter has stopped talking since her mother's passing, so he is also trying to cope with that. And something, some form of friendship relationship is going to build between those two main characters, and it's just supposed to be a really beautiful story and I love um, exploring complex human experiences with the fantasy lens I think can always be really really interesting so I'm really looking forward to this one as well. So the next book I am going to read is Friends and Strangers by J. Courtney Sullivan. This book um, sounds like it's going to be so intriguing. It's going to explore motherhood, um, power dynamics, privilege, Essentially, our main character, her family has left New York, moved out to this small town somewhere. Um, she was okay with the move. Um, I think, I don't know if it was for her husband's job, but it also allowed them to be closer to his ailing parents. Um, but once there, she's like basically in the home all day, um, I think taking care of their children, and she does work, um, but she's finding it harder to attend to her job. Um, because she is uh, just distracted, I think, by, it sounds like Facebook, um, there's this mom's group, and um, her sister's Instagram feed, and, you know, we all kind of have had those moments. Um, what's really interesting, though, is that uh, she meets a college student who it sounds like she hires to help with childcare. so yeah, that would mean she's a mom, um, and they develop a friendship. And even though they come from very different backgrounds and they're at very different phases of life, there is a connection between them. Um, the college student, she is simply struggling with what to do with her life, where to go next. Um, and I shouldn't say simply, because that's a pretty big one. Um, so essentially they connect over this, but then something occurs that does cause a disruption in the situation. <laughs> I thought I was on the roll this morning. Um, and that is it. So again, we're going to explore friendship, motherhood, privilege, power dynamics, all this really interesting stuff. And I really, that cover is really fun. It's very artsy. All right, on to the last book for the week. I'm actually going to try to pull one more. So the last book, it's a little bit thinner, so I'm being optimistic I can pull this off. 
is a nonfiction book written by two authors called Big Friendship, How We Keep Each Other Close. And essentially the authors are going to explore their own friendship that has existed um, throughout the years. So there they are. And um, yeah, they don't even live in the same part of the United States, but they've really maintained a connection. And I'm just, I'm looking forward to just hearing um, their thoughts and I'm anticipating like a lot of intellectual um, component, but also fun, right? So they're gonna explore the dynamics of what makes a good friend, um, what drives a friendship to cross the distance, I'm imagining, but also, um, have some humor about it is just kind of what I'm expecting. So we'll see if that's the truth. Um, so as always, once I finish these books, I will put up some spoiler-free reviews. So if interested, you can check those out. Um, and let me know what your plans are for the week. And if it's just nothing because you got to work, I totally get it. I, I did manage to read some, but uh, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like I planned. So here it is. Um, but that is it. So let's get on with the week. Happy reading. Until the next.